What is up everybody? Welcome back to the Badger Boat YouTube channel. Today, we're going to go ahead and relocate our Mishimoto oil separator for the crankcase. And I'm going to show you exactly why I'm doing that. And me and my sidekick, I'm going to go ahead and head up to the shop and get us rolling. What do you think, Shelby? Hmm? What do you think? Hmm. <laughs> Mishimoto oil. Mishi? Alright, so the Mishimoto oil separator for the ST is a great piece, but it is crucial to think about relocating it to a warmer position if you're driving your car when it's cold outside, i.e. winter time. We installed this oil separator probably about a month and a half ago and it says directly in the instructions that after the first 500 miles you should check it. Well I checked it after the first 72 miles because I had suspicions of maybe condensation buildup and I was right. After about 72 miles it was almost two-thirds full um, but it wasn't oil. It was a majority of water and the reason being is that catch can is aluminum so much like uh, ice cold cold snack in the summertime pull it out of the fridge put it on the patio where it's super duper hot and then it starts sweating. Same thing with the oil separator. As soon as the engine gets up to temp and all the vapors that are going into that thing are up to temp, but it's still a balmy nine degrees outside, condensation is gonna build up when inside the catch can when you shut it off. So what we're going to do today is try to relocate it higher up in the engine compartment to try to combat that a little bit. So as you can see, it is way, way down there but unfortunately, it's like really, really, really close to the ground. And it's colder down there than it is up in here. So I am going to try to utilize some of this openness right here. I just got to figure out how. So first things first, I need to get the catch can off, bring it back up to the top, and start brainstorming. So as you can see, it's a bit drippy. I gave her a thorough douching when I got here because it was extremely salty under here. Now, oh damn it, I didn't get all the salt. <sighs> Midwestern problems. All right, so first things first, we're gonna go ahead and zip these two clamps off, get the hoses off, get the bracket unbolted with my jerry rig spacerness. Don't judge. And then we're gonna go back up top side and see where we can't relocate this thing. All right, so I made a YouTube short video showing how much was in here. Now I drained this Thursday. So I've actually probably got close to 200 miles on this since I checked it last. Oh yeah. She's full again. This is what we got going on. So that is three quarters water and what i will do is i will go ahead and dump this into a paint cup some of that was still frozen we'll go ahead and set this aside and we will check this again in about roughly the same amount of miles and it should by tomorrow I'll actually be separated and the oil will actually be on top and all the slushy watery condensation poo-poo will be on the bottom. 
There we go, it's starting to separate already. You can see how much of that is oil and how much of that is condensation sludge. So, perfect example as to why you need to keep an eye on it, guys. Just gotta clean this out and uh, find out where we're gonna put it. So now that we got it all clean, I went ahead and pulled the bracket actually off the oil separator. Make it easier to try to find where we're going to put it. And what I think I'm going to do is I think I'm going to mount it somewhere, something like that. Go ahead and either bend these flat or cut them off entirely. Get it so it's sitting flush up against this part of the bracket mark it drill a hole and then bolt it and it should be good enough there and if not we'll find out because that's where i'm going to put it i was able to just go ahead and bend the tabs flat so now i can kind of position it something like that yeah somewhere in there that region area ish sure no oh, that's a too big that's right Now that we got that mounted, I'm going to go ahead and get the catch can mounted back up. Alright, got the hoses routed up. Now remember that these are, one is an in, one is an out. And the out is the one that goes to the intake, which is this one. So we're gonna go ahead and get this trimmed up. All right, we have it. Got her relocated to the top side, which will also make draining and servicing so much easier. Obviously, if you guys are still running your heat retaining plastic engine cover that makes everything look pretty, this might not exactly work. But then again, you might not have an engine cold air intake that has the same air box-ish plate thingy. Um, so, you know, this is kind of one of them things where you're going to have to move it around until you find somewhere in the engine compartment that you like. All we need to do is uh, drive it and uh, check it in about 150 miles and see in comparison how much is in the catch can compared to when it was down below. There we go. I'm happy with it. Got the oil separator moved up in the engine compartment hopefully to do a better job of keeping from collecting so much condensation over such a short period of time keeping in mind that i do commute 30 miles one way every day so including lunch break around 70 miles a day so obviously if you are only doing in-town driving you may not need to check it as often but if you are in cold climate and you have the Mishimoto oil separator and you have it in its factory location you are still going to want to check it as often as every two days whether you drive a lot or not because every time you get that thing up to temperature is when that can kind of 
all that condensation collects up in there and it adds up quick so just trying to help you guys from letting your motors ingest a bunch of oil water soup and potentially have catastrophic failure um, that's it hope you guys enjoyed and uh, until next time guys peace